Welcome to Science Sci-Fi, connecting the public to science and technology through storytelling. My name is Ronis Friedman. I'm a science fiction writer and an IT professional. In this video, we are going to explore what is NFT. And as part of the video, I'm going to make a personal first history. I'll mint my first NFT. And this NFT is going to be the first story I ever published that happened in 2011 as a science fiction writer. And at the end of this video, we're going to have an exciting announcement about this channel. So stay tuned. <music> NFTs for writers and artists. And this is from the point of view of a science fiction writer. So the first NFT I'm going to show is the biggest NFT that sold for the highest price called the Merge, price $91.8 million. The coin it was minted and sold is Ethereum. Second highest IST, uh, NFT is in existence every day. The first 5,000 days sold $69.3 million, coin Ethereum. Third one, clock. A timer which counts the number of days Julian Assange has spent in prison. That's the guy who started WikiLeaks. Price $52.8 million. Coin Ethereum. Number four, Human One. It's a kinetic video sculpture with a surrounding dynamic NFTs. Uh, this is a video uh, and a 3D sculpture, so it's not just an artwork. Price $28.9 million coin Ethereum. Number five, CryptoPunk. This was quite popular last year. Price $23.7 million coin Ethereum. Uh, there was another NFT that was a uh, capture of the headlines that sold for $532 million US dollar. But this is not exactly a legit sell because the person who created it sold it to himself. So it's some, so it, they did create a big headlines, but it wasn't really a legit that should count as a sales. But I'll let you know that there, it is what it is. So what we're going to have on the agenda. First, I'm going to run through and explain in a high level what is NFT at all and how to mint your first NFT. And I'll do that through an experiment when I myself, as a science fiction writer, will mint my first story, the first story I published in 2011. Then I'll show you how to buy an NFT and some tips about the do and do not for NFTs, some security tips. And I'll mention again some issue with NFTs that it's not yet established. There are a lot of scammers and hackers. There is not yet a legal framework for in the entire world. Uh, ESG, environmental, social, and government and what else an NFT can be used for. And at the end, I'm going to have a quick announcement about this channel. So what is NFT? NFT is an acronym that stands for non-fungible token. Before I explain what is non-fungible, I'll say what is fungible. I'll read the dictionary definition of fungible. It's a legal uh, definition of a good contractor without an individual specimen being specified. That means we are able to replace or be replaced this item with another identical item, mutually interchangeable. For example, if I have these two Canadian dollar bills and I want to buy an NFT for you, from you and I will offer you this bill or this one, you don't really care. Why do you care? It's, it, this one and this one is exactly the same as is all other bills. This is fungible. Back to the slide. Non-fungible token, it means that, that it is something unique. And as an example, I'm going to keep the Mona Lisa. There is only one Mona Lisa picture that is legit. It's the one that we know sits in the Louvre that was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Of course, we can take picture of the Mona Lisa and I can post it right here on the slides. And that's perfectly fine, but we everybody know that this is not the original, this is not unique. NFT is a digital representation of something that is registered 
and distributed on a blockchain. Blockchain, it's a new digital technology. Uh, it's still in its infancy, uh, lots of scammer and hacker, so it's not entirely regulated. However, we as honest artists and honest writers, and specifically me, science fiction writer, we can still legitimately register something as an NFT, something that we have copyrights to, and we put it as an NFT, and we can try to sell it as an NFT and make some extra money. Now, it's uh, most NFTs are, uh, including the one I'm showing you, it's not that I'm giving all the rights for the NFT, I'm only giving the rights of to register it on a blockchain, I'm only giving the NFT rights. For example, I have a book that is, a, is a, in paper version, in ebook version, a audiobook version. So now it's going to have an NFT version. An NFT version, I'm, because it's non fungible, I'm only going to have one copy, and only one person can buy that one copy. Now it will not have every, a copyright for everything I, I have for that story, but it will have the NFT rights. So, to mint your first NFT, what will you need? First, we need a wallet, and then we need re to register your NFT on a marketplace. There are all kinds of wallets. Some of them are more secure, some are slightly less secure, more popular, less popular. The, not the most secure one, but the, one of the very popular and it's free, so you don't need to buy a specific hardware that give you an extra security. But if it is your first NFT and you don't have millions of dollars there, it should be good enough. So this is good for in, initially as in beginners. So the one I'm going to recommend, the most popular is MetaMask. It has over 30 million users. It using, it's running on the Ethereum network, but it could run on some with some other currencies in addition to Ethereum, uh, like layer two, I'm going to talk later about uh, Polygon. And the second thing I'm going to talk about marketplace, you need a marketplace to put it, your NFT on a marketplace. There are many marketplaces. the biggest one currently in existence is OpenSea. So what I'm going to show you is how to mint your first NFT using a MetaMask wallet and on the marketplace called OpenSea. First thing you need to do is you must have a wallet. You can go to metamask.io, the link is here, and I'm also going to put it in the video's description. And you need to, on OpenSea, there are some video that explain to you exactly what you need to do in order to install MetaMask on your computer. Once you install it and you create an account, you're going to have three things. The first thing is a wallet address. This one you can share with other websites or the other people because that's how they are going to transfer money to you. Second thing, you have, you're going to have a username and password. This is to log into your NFT wallet while it's installed on your browser. It's a head on, on a browser that you can install with any of the popular browser like Chrome, Firefox, Edge, etc. And you're gonna have, and this is important, so listen very carefully. When you create your account, your wallet, you're gonna get a recovery for a secret to restore your wallet if you lost your computer. These are 12 words and in a certain order. So if you ever lost your computer or uninstall it and you want to recover it on another computer, you must have and must keep this recovery secret. So you want to print it, you can put it in some place very, very safe, keep a few copies. But my advice to you is never ever share it. There are a lot of scammers on the internet you will go to some website that try to pretend to be OpenSea and it will tell you, oh, we have some problem connecting to your wallet. We need you to type your recovery phrase. Don't ever do that because once you give your recovery phrase to somebody else, that somebody can restore your wallet in another place and then take all your money out and you don't want to, this to happen. You can give it, 
maybe uh, rule of thumb only to people that are on your will so you can give it to your spouse or your kids don't go with don't give it to some random website that say oh we need it to uh, in order to connect to your wallet so this is OpenSea website what i'm going to do now i'm going to mint the my first nft and what i'm going to meet is the first story so now it's uh, may 1st 2022 and i'm going to mint the first story that i published as a science fiction rando in 2011 the story is called unveiled uh, it was published uh, in daily science fiction uh, it's still available uh, if you want to read it now i have a office version of that uh, file uh, I put it on the LibreOffice, that's the free version of uh, Microsoft Office. Similar. So I have the story, I make sure there are no pictures here that I don't have copyright. This is only my story that I do have copyright. And at the end, I put some comment uh, when it was first published. And this is the first ever NFT I minted. First story, first NFT. So in order to put an NFT, you cannot put a Word document or a PDF file. It has to be an image. So I'm going to convert this Word document to an image. Now, it's not if it's a very long book with many pages, it could be a bit of a challenge. But for the sake of simplicity, I took a very, very short story. The shortest story I ever wrote, in fact, only two to, uh, 306 words. And I'm going to export it into a jpeg so i clicked on end spot i'm going to go to unveil the name of the story nft and i'm going to publish it as a jpeg file i'm going to put save i already have a file earlier that i prepared okay i saved it i can close it it's this file i can double click and open it you see and this is, you have an image of the story, and this is what I'm going to mint. Now let's go to OpenSea. I already have a MetaMask installed here. It has no money. So when you mint an NFT, there are two options on OpenSea. One, you can do it on Ethereum. That is a more secure way. But in order to use Ethereum, you need to pay gas fee. So you need to go to an exchange, buy some Ethereum, and then in order to meet, you need to pay gas fee. This is the most, using Ethereum is the most secure way, but it's a bit more complex. And also it costs you money. The gas fee could be five, six dollars, but if the Ethereum network is very, very busy, it could be 60, 70 bucks. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to use another solution that is another coin that also supported by MetaMask that is uh, called uh, Polygon, that is a layer two that's run on top of Ethereum. The idea there is that is you could run it on a very, very lean, very, very fast network uh, that the price is going to be a fraction of one cent and OpenSea, you say, you know what, we just going to cover it. So for you, even if you don't have any money in your wallet, you can still mint your NFT. Okay, so we are going to click on create when on OpenSea and instead of logging into OpenSea it will ask to connect to your wallet the wallet we have is MetaMask I'm going to click it here okay it asks you to sign in uh, typically it asks username and password but since I signed in earlier it didn't ask me for username and password this time so now I'm, time, I'm going to mint my first NFT. Okay, copy it. Turn the leak. Uh, okay, let's see. first story published by myself. I'm doing it for the first time, so that's why I'm unveiled. Okay, go 
זה ספלינג ארו. The link to daily science fiction. Collection. Uh, typically collection or uh, so bet I don't have any collection right now, so you know what? Let's just put it as a standalone. Uh, including blockchain, uh, we'll say that we want to use Polygon instead of Ethereum because we want to make it free and click on create. Almost done. Yeah, I don't think I'm a robot. Palm tree. Well, we have palm tree here, here. Please wait. I'm waiting. And I created my first NFT. I'm going to put the links uh, later. Uh, I think I probably need to choose the price. Uh, this is the price my wife told me to put. It's about uh, a bit over $4,700. Duration. Should I put it more, more option? Yeah. So NFT, when you sell it, uh, you say, I, I will sell it for Ethereum. So the Ethereum will be go into my MetaMask wallet. And from the OpenSea will take two and a half percent for providing the service. Let's type complete listing. Spell was unlock. Probably should have started, uh, tried it before I'm making, uh, making this video. Let's see how it works. Sign. Okay, uh, unlock currency. Sign. Awkward moment, it takes a bit longer than expected. And sign a message. anything to sign now no take a bit longer than expected maybe I should have tried before I running the, the video Ask me to do something here. Close, move. And sign through your wallet. Your so NFT is listed. Current price, 1.69, about $4,000. It will be available uh, for all time, so probably in a, for a month, so when about a month I'll have to come back. And that's it, folks. I hope uh, somebody will come and pay me $4,000 for these NFTs.
we are going to see. Voila. And now I have one NFT listed on the internet. I'm going to post it in the link below if anyone wants to buy this NFT. Now back. So what did we have? We went to OpenSea.io. We sign out with our MetaMask wallet and click on create, upload the image, did the, all this signature and converting to currency, all this uh, thing that took me 10 minutes to do. Let's try a little bit. Hopefully you will not. And we have the option to use Ethereum that has gas fee, but a bit more secure or use Polygon that is free. Slightly less secure, but if you don't deal with a huge amount, that's okay. And you can choose one of the two options. Uh, Polygon is the simpler one. Now, how to buy NFT. Let's move to the next slide. To buy NFT, you need to have a wallet, your own wallet, and you need to have some money in there or some Ethereum in there. You can buy Ethereum by going to one of the popular exchanges like Crypto.com, Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, CoinSmart, Gemini. This video is done in Canada. There are a few uh, Canadian exchanges. If you want to buy it with Canadian dollar instead of American dollar, they are listed here as well. Uh, and then you transfer money to your wallet. Then you have an Ethereum in your wallet and you can go to op OpenSea and search either my NFT or any of the others and buy it and use an Ethereum to buy it, to pay for it. Congratulations. Now you will own your first NFT. Okay, some on the popular NFT marketplace and blockchains. Uh, we already spoke about Ethereum and we spoke about Polygon. Sol Solana is another rising star. There are a lot of uh, NFTs are mid on Solana, that's a different blockchain that is uh, a bit faster than Ethereum and cheaper than Ethereum and maybe slightly less secure, uh, but it's very popular and easy to use as well, as well as Cardano, uh, the, uh, Tezos and Bayern Smart Coins. Uh, top 10 NFT open markets are listed here. Uh, uh, yeah, so OpenSea is uh, the biggest one, but of course not the only one. Some tips. If you forget your password, 12 of the seeds phrase that you got first time when you install your wallet, then you're pretty much screwed. So keep it safe. Maybe put three copies in three different places around the world. Uh, and you need it in case you lose your computer or you need to uninstall the MetaMask and you want to restore it in a different browser, a different computer. Uh, don't let your computer get hacked and let people access your wallet through your device. That's not a smart idea. Don't connect your MetaMask to unknown services or groups. OpenSea is okay because it's known. Don't give anyone your phrase. I don't know how many times I can repeat them. Just don't do that. Now for my big announcement. My YouTube channel, Science Sci-Fi, our YouTube channel, has now been announced as the Aurora Award finalist. Aurora Award is Canada's premier science fiction and fantasy award. Uh, now it's a finalist, uh, going to announce the winner in uh, August. But yeah, so it's under fan category because it's still under 1000 subscribers. So it's not yet professional. I'm not any earning any money from it as of yet. So that's why it can still be under fan category. But yay, it's on the map. Our channel is on the map. So thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And see you back on the next video. Thank you very much. And see you soon.